If you're at home and you notice that your pet has suddenly stopped breathing, uh, you feel the chest, you don't feel a heartbeat, um, you can immediately start CPR while you are um, trying to get ready to transport them to an emergency veterinarian. CPR at home can be performed by uh, having your pet laying on one side or the other. Chest compressions are given right over the widest part of the chest. Um, one hand over the other, similar to how CPR is performed in people. So ideally you wanna have two people, one person doing chest compressions, the other one giving breaths. Um, chest compressions are definitely more important than giving breaths when you are transporting your pet to the hospital. So we wanna make sure we're focusing on non-interrupted chest compressions in order to try and get blood flow out to the uh, periphery. Chest compressions are given. Um, you want to aim for about 100 compressions a minute. Some people will use the beat to stay in alive. It'll give you that same like 100 beats per minute. When pets are here, we'll have a breathing tube in them. But at home, when you don't obviously have that luxury, um, in order to give them a breath, you can actually do what we call mouth to snout. So you're going to close their mouth. You're going to place your mouth over their nose and mouth like this and give a uh, deep breath in. Um, you can give about 10 breaths per minute. Try and continue chest compressions while you're giving breaths. Now, of course, if you are all alone and you don't have somebody else to do that, you can do chest compressions for you know, one to two minutes and then stop, give a breath, and then immediately resume chest compressions. Again, hopefully you have somebody that is driving a car very quickly in order to get them to an emergency hospital.